Right, it's time for today's science lesson. That part of the show where we like to take apart one specific scientific principle to see how it works. So, who can tell me what the following have in common? Let's see what she's got. This golf buggy driving granny. <laughs> there you go. This hard running hamster. <laughs> and these rowdy roundabout riders. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I quit. Did you guess that they were all to do with circular motion? Well, if you did, give yourself a gold star and a good firm pat on the back. Now, let's get to grips with the science. As these skaters spin, they are objects in circular motion, constantly changing the direction component of their velocity. This requires the constant application of a force known as centripetal force while the object following the curved path feels a centrifugal force to the outside. It's worth noting that without all that important centripetal force, your object is free to carry on in a straight line rather like this. Now, it's time for a test to see who's been paying attention. Question one, what are objects in circular motion doing? To make things a bit clearer, we've hired this high-speed Christmas tree decorator to demonstrate. He's maintaining his circular motion by constantly changing the direction component of his velocity. And what could be more festive than that? Question number two. What makes something move in a circle? The answer, of course, is centripetal force. As the roundabout speeds up, the boy experiences enough centripetal force to pull his body outward for a classic leg sweep. OK, third and final question. What force does an object moving in a circle experience? This kid is going to show us. As he runs, he gives the giant hamster wheel angular momentum. But when he trips, that angular momentum turns on him and he experiences centrifugal force pinning him to the outside of the circle, for a while at least. So there ends our lesson on circular motion. However, I suggest that unlike this donut, you don't take what you've learned out onto a public road.